Hi, I'm Pastor Peter from Sweden. Oh, it's better without the mask, isn't it? Hi, I'm Pastor Peter from Sweden. As I'm sure you all know, there's this virus called COVID-19 or the coronavirus that is spreading all across the globe, from country to country, infecting more and more people. I'm not sure about the place where you live, but here in Stockholm, Sweden, everyday life has really changed. If you take the bus or the subway, some people are wearing a mask to keep from infecting others or being infected themselves. Workplaces are shutting down. Some people are losing their jobs. Kids are staying home from school, maybe being taught via the internet instead. But the biggest change, I think, is the fear that many people are feeling. Usually everyday life in the Western world is not dangerous. It's fairly safe. We live in a peaceful country. We have enough food to feed our families. If we get sick, we can go to the hospital. We have affordable health care through the government. Everybody can afford to see a doctor. But now, despite the best efforts of the politicians and even better efforts by health professionals, nothing seems to slow the virus down. It keeps spreading and spreading. Like somebody said, it's like an invisible enemy. I'd like to share a section from the Bible with you today that talks about fear. It's about an instant where the disciples were really, really scared. It happens after Jesus has spent a long day teaching and healing people, and then they want to get away. In the Gospel according to Mark, in chapter 4, we read, That day, when evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. When the disciples were gripped by fear, the fear turned into panic. They were experienced fish fishermen, some of them, but the waves kept crashing in over the boat and the boat was filling up with water and they realized that they were about to sink and drown. And then in their fear, they cry out to Jesus, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? And Jesus' answer is peculiar. He says, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? Sometimes in our lives, we are gripped by fear. We are faced with a natural enemy, like the weather or like a disease, that we don't know how to fight against. And we feel very small and we feel helpless, maybe. But then we shouldn't forget what the disciples forgot, Jesus who is right there in the boat with them, and who is right beside us even today, he's not a regular friend who can maybe sit with us and share our feelings. He can also help. We should never forget that Jesus is the one who said to the wind and to the waves, quiet, be still. And that he is also the one who says to the fear in our hearts, Quiet, be still, trust me.
don't be afraid. I'm right here with you. I understand if you are afraid. I understand if you are concerned about your loved ones, about yourself, about the economy, about your job, any number of things. But you don't have to be afraid because Jesus is our brother and he is true God and he has the power to help no matter what our problem is. Thank you for spending time with me today and God bless your day.